Hi, my name is Nela, and this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a squash and stretch rig in Spine Pro. Before we dive into the tutorial, you're going to need some basic knowledge of Spine, since this is not a beginner or an introduction tutorial to Spine. You're going to need Spine Pro, since this is not possible in the essential version, and you're going to need a character or an image to work in. Okay. Let's begin. We're going to start off by making some image meshes and set up the basic controls for the rig. So we have our character over here. Uh, for this tutorial, I've chosen to focus on the legs. So we're going to make an image mesh out of the leg. I've chosen to do it this way so that the leg bends more naturally. And then you just generate the rest, you fill it in. I'm also showing how to do this with the eye, because it could be interesting to see. Putting a lot of meshes in between, so that it has more information for a natural bend. After this, I'm just making the standard bones for the leg. I'm using three bones because it bends more naturally when you do this. And then I'm going to parent the image to the bone, so it moves around already. To make a squash and stretch rig, we need to make use of curves. These curves can be controlled by bones, and they can control bones. In this next part, I'm gonna set up an IK, make a curve, and then we're gonna link the bones to the curve. We need the bones to skin the image mesh onto, and we need the IK bones to control the curves more easily. We don't need this, but for something like a leg, it can be quite useful. We are going to start by making two bones for the IK, like this with the point in the middle of the second bone. After this, you select the bones, make the IK. You name the IK and you check if it works. Then it is best to already select the parent bone, and then you make a path. And you just make a straight path from the top to the end with a curve in the middle. Then with the curve selected, you bind the two IK bones and the IK handle. Um, you can see that I mixed them up here, um, so I went, in, went back to fix it. And I forgot the IK at first, um, but make sure to bind the IK handle onto the curve, otherwise uh, it won't move and it will appear to be broken. And then to make sure that the middle part of the curve is rigged half of the boat bones, um, I've noticed just by making a lot of these that in the middle part you have 50% of each IK bone and the two handles that go along with it also need to have 50%. But this is just trial and error and you can see what works best for you. Now, for the bones to follow along the curve, we need to set up some basic constraints. So we're gonna select the three bones and make a path constraint. You click the path, you name the constraint. Then you choose scaling and spacing and you put 33%. It's 100 divided by the number of bones. Then for rotate, you choose chain scale, so that if you move, they will change. And with testing, you can see that the three bones move along, but the IK stays the same length. To fix this, you select the two IK bones, and you do the same process. You make a path constraint, constrain them to the path, But this time for spacing you use 50% and for rotate you also use chain scale. So now that part works. And now only one step is left and that is to bind and skin the bones to our image so that our image moves along with them. We select the image and bind the three bones to it. You click auto and Spine automatically calculates it. 
you can check out what weights and there you have it. Now if you move the IK around you can see that it squashes and stretches and follows the curve. And with this you can make some complex rigs like I'm showing in the background right now. You can use this method to skin an entire body around and then make it be controlled by all, a lot of curve points around. There is, however, a limit on how many bones you can link to a body or an image. And I've noticed that it is between 50 and 60. So you should map out beforehand how to do this. And this is how you make a squash and stretch rig. You can get creative with it and you can do whatever you want with it. After this you can begin animating the rig by just controlling the curves and you can make your character squash and stretch around while he walks like this. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If there are any comments or questions, don't be afraid to ask them. Thank you for watching.